So this one says um, temperature change and heat capacity. You have a pre-1982 penny. The reason it's pre-1982 is that pennies up to that point were made of copper. Uh, we've got the point where pennies, uh, copper was more valuable. Excuse me. The amount of copper in a penny had more metal value than the value of a penny. Uh, so they call it the Great Meltdown, where many people basically buy it. Uh, it's actually, I think it's illegal to replace the currency. A lot of people do. Okay, but, um, you know, so basically people melted pennies and sold them for the metal value. So now our pennies are basically um, uh, copper plated zinc. So it asks you how much heat is absorbed as it warms from minus 88C, so you know, maybe Chicago, um, or probably not this morning, um, but you know, Chicago in about a month's time when it snows and gets really cold. Uh, you raise up to body temperature, that's 35 degrees C. Um, and you assume the penny is pure copper and has a mass of 3.1 degrees C. So this is maybe you find a penny, yeah, you know, as it says, you find a penny in the snow, you think, hey, I'll, I'll give that. So basically for copper, the heat capacity is 0 0.385 joules per gram per degree C. We'll lock that up. We have that Q is the mass times the specific heat capacity times the change in temperature. <coughs> Go ahead and put numbers in. Our penny weighs 3.10 grams. Heat capacity is 0 0.385 joules per gram per degree C. And our temperature change, in fact, for all our changes, it's going to be the final state minus the initial state. Okay, so in this case, the final state is 37 degrees C, body temperature, and it's going to have range, the initial state is minus 8.0 degrees C. And we basically walk that through. This becomes 53.7075 joules. So you see grams cancel here and here. Celsius cancels here and here. We're left with joules dimensionally. And then uh, we work that base over three significant figures, which is 53.7 joules. So, relatively straightforward.